the ego, what we refer to as the ego, which naturally forms itself from infancy through childhood into adulthood so that we can function in the world exists on a continuum. It's not a solid entity. It exists on a continuum At one end, the me, the me and my story, the me and my identification as this or that. At that end of the continuum, there is a ping-ponging between me as this and me as that, me as lucky, me as unlucky, me as worthy, me as unworthy, me as spiritual, me as unspiritual. This is tension, this is stress, this is exhaustion, this is erroneous identity. At the other end is the I, The I is the purity of awareness. Which is <clears throat> which is recognized. It is called self-realization. Recognized through the vehicle of the physiological organism, the sensory organism, the self-reflective organism. So in that sense, the ego cannot be destroyed or killed or gotten rid of. It becomes refined, it becomes transmuted. And in that transmutation, it no longer stands separate from life, separate from experience. thereby creating the separate self, the idea that I am a separate self, having a life, or life, or life is happening to me. It merges into the totality and is the eye of awareness. It is sky. So it's not a matter of trying to get rid of anything, but a matter of refining the way that we see And that refinement invites, necessitates the end of the argument, the end of resistance. The end of wrapping narratives of opinion and belief around our experience. 
It's the undoing of the knot of tension that creates the karmic grooves of conditioning and suffering. Recognizing that which is constant. Recognizing the I in all experiences, the I that is always here, without embellishments, without encumbrances, is the purity of awareness. It's the purity of clear seeing. It's the purity of intimacy. But even intimacy becomes a useless word, a useless idea, because there's nobody here being intimate with anything. The subject-object relationship collapses. It's the end of relationship. That's all that's meant by dying and being reborn. Simply the illusion of the separate self dies. This organism obviously doesn't die until it does. But the personality, the vehicle, the personhood doesn't die. Once again, I say it becomes permeable, it becomes transparent, it becomes lighter in all ways. And the rebirth, what is this? Simply a new way of seeing the unbounded vista. It's as if the ego structure, that tight knot, comes undone in that there's a death, yeah? It's a conceptual death. It's an energetic death. It comes undone. That's non-existence. The me that is a conglomerate of beliefs about me and my life comes undone. It dissolves. The me no longer exists. But there's a rebirth, a reformation into the I. Because you don't just disappear into a vacuum, obviously. There's a reformation of the self as the I. That's rebirth.